Hey guys, I'm going to show you my um, push-pull rally shifter that I made. I uh, bought a 3D printer and wanted to do this for a while, so I figured this would be my first project on the 3D printer. Well, it wasn't my first. I printed some other stuff, but nothing that I've actually designed. Um, but this is something I actually designed from the ground up. Got some ideas from online here and there, um, but pretty much built everything from the ground up in Fusion 360, which is the 3D modeling program. I bought the 3D printer about three weeks ago, I think. So right around then I started using Fusion 360. So I'm still really new to using that and learning it and stuff, but it's pretty simple and I was able to do what I got done here. So I'm gonna share it with you. Um, so my idea was I have a, um, a Fanatec Universal, Xbox Universal Hub, and I wasn't using it. It was on another wheel that I just don't really use all that much. I use it when I play rally games uh, here and there. Um, but most of my sim racing is in other sims, so I use some other wheels. So anyway, so I figured, you know what, it'd be pretty neat to see if I can make this into a push-pull rally system, or rally paddle shifter. So um, what I did is I took it apart and just took off all the took off all these uh, buttons around here. Uh, I might put some of them back on like this Xbox uh, funky switch here. These I don't really need. Um, but anyways, took that all off, took the shifters off. Um, here's one of the shifters. And um, there's a device that was in here, a little like uh, clicker for the button for shifting. And I thought, you know what, that's actually a good idea to use that one that's in there. So I took it out of here on each shifter and designed something in the 3D program that would make it work. And that's where I have all this mess over here from a learning experience. <laughs> I'm not an engineer and I'm not good at, um, I'm not artistic so I'm not good with this stuff. It's just kind of what's in my head and I want to try and make it work. So it was trial and error. Um, the first box I made here was too thin um, for the springs that were in there and then um, the wires that were in here I didn't think about where I'd run them. So um, strike one. So I did this box here, which has a little slit in it to run the wires outside of it and into the Xbox Universal Hub. Um, and then when putting the springs in here, you can't see it in there, it's dark. Um, there's a little cylinder here that I printed where the spring goes on. One goes on here and one goes down here and holds the paddle in the middle. And uh, one of them broke off from me trying to get the spring in there. And that's when I realized printing this whole box as one piece is a bad idea. So, um, and I printed this box after I printed the paddle shifter. I probably should have started with this with the video. So I printed this first. This is the paddle shifter. Um, and I printed it all as one piece. So this is all together. And uh, it came out really good. I was really happy with it. But when I put everything together and put it in here like that and, you know, was checking it out, putting the springs in there and everything, I realized, like, this is just not going to work for one reason or the other. So that's when it, it dawned on me that I need to start making these parts in pieces to save on print material um, to where if I do perfect one piece, I don't have to print it again. You know, if I perfected this paddle, but I had to work on this area, I'd have to print the whole thing again. So I was like, you know what, I'm not going to do that. So I cut it all up and uh, kind of see that here in this program. If it's really bright, let's see if it loads in. There we go. So this is what I started with is, you know, like I showed you that box here and this shifter. And then I went to making them in pieces. You know, I got the shifter paddle here, I got the arm assembly here and the box here. So that was a much better idea. So I went that route and um, the box, I, like I said, I, I cut it to where this top piece is off so I can get in there and work around it and get the springs in there and everything. So uh, like you see here, this is the third attempt. Um, and on my third attempt uh, in the model, I forgot to put the cylinders in there for the springs. So, <laughs> yeah, so a lot of trial and error and a lot of stupid mistakes on my part. But, oh, well, it's fun. Uh, it was just frustrating from time to time waiting on the printer. I had some issues with the printer at one point, but I got it all to work. So, But this is just a bunch of mess-ups that I wanted to show you guys. Um, yeah, here's the, the arms where I was kind of going back and forth. If you see on this arm right here, you see that area right there where it's kind of worn out. That's me from uh, using a Dremel to Dremel it out. One of the issues I had is the uh, the little shift buttons that have the clickers on them, 
when this goes up and down to hit it, it you know, to the downshift you go up and to upshift you go down. And when it was going up, because this little curve here, the metal piece kept hitting it and it wasn't a very smooth transition. I could hear it kind of hitting it. It was working, but it just wasn't smooth. So that's one of the reasons I had to redesign this. I made it to where this part doesn't curve, it just comes straight. So yeah, um, and here's the finished product. So I have it on this um, generic Sparco wheel. I didn't know it was generic at the time, but I found out later it is. But that's why I didn't pay very much for it, so whatever. Uh, here's the Xbox Universal Hub, and here is the shifter. So you probably won't be able to tell with the video, but there's some. Sp you see the spring in there? And there's one on the other side. I'm not going to be able to get that in the video, but yeah. So there's a spring here, and there's a spring over here, and yeah, it works pretty good. It, it's got some good tension on it. Um, I wanted to. I didn't want it to be really firm. You know, I wanted to be able to just hit it like that and shift, and it works. If you hear it, I think you can probably hear it with my mic. Maybe let's see. So yeah, it's just a uh, real quick and easy. So um, it turned out a little bit better than I expected to be actually. I didn't think these springs would hold it dead center like that because there's not a lot of room for play in here. Um, these little um, clickers that they hit, um, there's barely, um, there's probably like three millimeters of play, like that much. <laughs> like That's not much at all. So um, for it to sit there dead center like that for me, I was pretty happy with it. And there's, I put some carbon fiber. I don't know if you can see it, uh, sticker on it for the paddle. But it came out pretty good. I'm happy with it. I've tested it out. It works pretty good. I'll show you a video of it. And um, so, yeah, just wanted to show it to you. Um, it's still a work in progress. There's a couple things I still want to do to it. Um, I feel like this is a little bit too far out. It, the video is kind of making it worse than it actually is. It's about like if I'm looking at it myself, let's see. Okay, so in the video, like it, what you see right there sticking out, like just that little bit, is about how much it actually is sticking out. Like if I was looking at it myself, you know, when, when using it. So it's not a big issue, but um, I did notice a couple of times when I was actually playing dirt rally and trying it out, when I'm moving my hand like this to go and um, upshift, I would actually hit it. Like if I was in a situation where I'm like uh, trying to keep the car under control or something and I wasn't being smooth with my my hand I would hit it and it would shift it only happened like once or twice um, so what I'm gonna do is just shorten the arm and move this paddle in just a just a hair
and I did not try to put this together before this video. I did like other boxes and stuff, but those ones always had issues, so I'm hoping there's going to be no issues with this one once I get it put together here. We're going to find out. There's only one issue that I'm aware of that at this point, because of all my trial and errors that I've done, that would have continued to be an issue, but I think I corrected it. And that was the little shifter for the downshift was rubbing up against it was rubbing up it, the, the little shifter thing hits right here it, when this moves like this it hits it and it was hitting this little curve right here and it was digging into that you probably can't see that in the video but and you can kind of see it like right there anyways it was digging into that and so I had to instead of making it curved I had to just make it just a straight uh, 90 degree angle and like on this one that I made, you can see where I dug out a little hole just to make sure that if I did clear out some issue or some area there, if it would clear. And it was clearing. So anyways, we got it together. So let's see if how this is working. So yeah, so. Yep. Yeah, it's working. Sweet. All right. So I realized I don't have... OBS installed on this computer and I was doing all my recordings on my other computer and because uh, I have a separate PC for my sim rig and so I had to get that installed so hopefully this looks all right um, had to lower the how bright the video is because I think uh, you won't be able to see the screen very well with um, dirt rally It's kind of bright, so we'll see here. I got to navigate with uh, my keyboard and mouse because I don't have all the buttons on the hub right now. I haven't played Dirt Rally in a long time, so you guys go easy on me. And I usually race in VR like literally all the time. I'm gonna crash, I know it. <laughs> Where all right? Let's go all the way. About about right. Right there. Left four long over crest, 250. Line through dip, 
Right three, half long, tight, and open over press. And right six. And caution, left four over press jump, maybe, don't cut. And line. Into caution, left four over press jump. Oh! Forty, left three, long over bumps. <laughs> I will stop right there. I remember hitting that sign. I do that quite a bit. Anyways, there it is. She's a little uh, dented there. Oh well. Anyways, let me know if you guys have any questions uh, or what you think.